So with Season of the Risen and the Witch Queen, Void 3.0 has come out and there are some really overpowered builds, including the one that I put out recently. For Hunters specifically, there are some great exotics and I'm going to go over what I consider probably the five best exotics that you can use with any Void build. First off, let's talk about Orpheus Riggs. And so for Orpheus Riggs, again, talking about my previous video, Orpheus Riggs gives you a ton of flexibility within Void 3.0. For Orpheus Riggs, what it does is when you use Deadfall, you actually get your super energy back when you kill enemies that are attached to your tethers and your tether lasts longer. With Mobius Quiver, you get a third set of the three arrows. So you know you get like two sets normally when you do Mobius Quiver, two sets of three, you're gonna get three sets of three. Those are useful for two things. They're shorter duration, but you can extend the area that you're covering as far as trying to kill ads. And also they do an incredible amount of DPS, some of the highest DPS in the game to bosses. So Orpheus Riggs, you want to use that in builds that are primarily PvP focused. You could use this in PvP, especially with Moby's Quiver, but I don't think it's quite as powerful. In PvE, you're going to use that in either areas where you're trying to get your super back really quickly, and you're also trying to do area of control and PvE activity. That, or with Mobius Quiver, being able to do a lot of damage to a single PvE boss. So that's why I would use those. These are really, really going to be good in any PvE build. Graviton Forfeit. Graviton Forfeit basically extends the duration of your invisibility. Also, while you're invisible, your melee recharges faster, your weapons will reload faster, and you'll get recovery. Now, what that does basically for the basic smoke bomb is that's typically five seconds. You'll see that give you a few extra seconds of invisibility. But one of the other things that's nice about it is because of the melee energy that you get back, you can basically, when you're using this, get almost half of your melee, which is your smoke bomb back. And you can also reload your weapons really quick. So again, this is gonna, again, this is really useful for a lot of builds. I would say this is probably best in PVP, where you can go invisible, reposition yourself, get off your enemy's radar, that little bit of extra invisibility is gonna help you out a great deal. And again, being able to reload your weapons quickly is also useful. You could use these in PVE. There are situations where you're gonna to wanna to be able to go longer invisible. For instance, if you need to revive people in an encounter or something like that. But overall, I would rate these as probably higher in PVP. On Monoculus, this is already a pretty strong exotic and it's something I've used in a lot of builds. Now, with Void 3.0, there was a little bit of a nerf to it where you don't get hard of the pack anymore which you know, is kind of a bummer, but it still fits in well to Void 3.0. For those who aren't aware, Omninoculus gives you a second smoke bomb. Also, while you're invisible, it gives you damage resistance, and your allies, who you've made invisible, also get damage resistance. One of the reasons this is really nice is, again, you get that second smoke bomb so you can smoke people more often. The other thing that happens is when you smoke a larger group of people, you can get your melee back constantly and constantly go in invisible your teammates and also give them damage resistance so that's where it does come in handy it's really useful keeping your fire team invisible and keeping them protected again during that content this is a pretty well-rounded exotic um, i would say it's probably better in pv primarily because you're going to have a fire team which you can re-smoke and get your melee back the other thing is the smoke within pvp is going to take longer because the really easiest way to get smoke is to use Gambler's Dodge. Well, unless you're near an enemy, you're not gonna be able to get that. So again, you can use this in PvP, that's for sure, but it's definitely better in PvE. Sixth Coyote. Now, this is an exotic I think that doesn't get a lot of respect. It's a very basic exotic. For the longest time, it was one of the key Void Hunter exotics, and I have a ton of videos on my channel where I exploited it, especially in PvP. This exotic has been somewhat overshadowed by Omninoculus and other things like that, but it basically gives you a second dodge. The second dodge is useful because if you're in PvE content, use your dodge of Gambler's Dodge, then go invisible again, have a second dodge to be near enemies, which will allow you to gain your smoke bomb back by the time you would get another dodge through your mobility timeout. This is a well-balanced exotic that works both well in PvE and PvP. Even though it doesn't have extra features on it, it works really well in PvP because with a second dodge, it's probably better than Omnoculus because you can use Stylus Executioner and basically go invisible on a regular basis because you'll have that extra dodge. You won't have to rely on your smoke bomb. And of course, it still has use in PvE, but again, even though it's well-balanced, I probably would use this more in PvP than anything else. Finally, there's Bombardiers. Bombardiers is an interesting exotic in that it plays in well to the seasonal pass artifact mods. There's a lot of artifact mods that are dealed around suppression and extending suppression's duration. And with Bombardier and the Void subclass, what basically happens is when you do a dodge, you drop a small grenade that explodes, that's about 120 damage, 
but also drops an effect for Void that's Suppression. If you add that to some of the seasonal artifact mods that allow suppression to last longer, the 120 damage is going to take out most of a Guardian in PvP, and then with the suppression and then being suppressed and then being extended, they're an easy pickoff. And because when they're suppressed, they're not going to be able to use their abilities, and they're also going to have a hard time moving around. So that's a good time to pick them off. It's also good in PvE because you can go and dodge in the middle of a bunch of enemies and use a suppression, suppress the enemies, and then go in and take them out. So guys, that's my look at the top five exotics for the Hunter for Void 3.0, especially for Season 16. There's probably a couple others that we could use, but these are the ones I'm going to be focusing my builds around. If you don't have those, try to get them. Omnoculus, obviously, you can get that from the Legendary Lost Sectors and Master Lost Sectors. The other exotics on this list are going to come from World Drops, or you can, if you get lucky, you can get them from Zero every week, so make sure you check that out. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.